Good morning. We're going to do some more number stories today. So if you can remember, yesterday we were doing the stories of one. Two, three, four and five. So today we're going to be doing six and seven. So instead of using a coat hanger and coat pegs to, or clothes pegs today, we're going to use the number lines that we did on Monday. Um, but just so that you can see it a bit better, my number square has bigger numbers, so I'm going to use this. So we're going to start with number six. So let's count zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've put a little marker on the number six and we're going to see what adds up to make six. Let me get to the next page. I can write down the answers. I've got another marker because we're going to count the jumps it takes. So I'm going to start at zero. So I'm going to put a marker on zero. How many jumps to get to number six? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six jumps. So zero and six make six. I'm going to put that in my book. So zero and six make six. There you go. And I've given you a clue what we're going to do after that. We're going to try the next number. The next one is one. So let's have a go. This time I'm putting my marker on number one. Let's have a go. Count the jumps. One, two, three, four, five. So one and five makes six. Let's put that on. So we're going to go one more each time. So we've had one or zero, we've had one. Next is two. So let's see what you have to add to two to make six. So we'll start with number two. How many jumps? One, two, three, four. Two and four make six. You can see a pattern coming through now. Okay. We've got a pattern. We've got zero, one, two. And at the other side, the numbers are going down. Six, five, four. So let's see what the next one is. We're going to start at three this time. We're moving up. One, two, three. So let's see how many jumps to get to six. Let's see, we're on number three to start. Count the jumps. One. Two, three. Three and three is six. And we're going to keep going. So that was three. One more than three is four. Let's see, let's count the jumps. One, two. Four and two is six. We're nearly there. Nearly there. Next we've got number five. So let's count our jumps. One, five and one is six. Which means we've got to our last counter, six. This is a little bit confusing. How many jumps to get to six? We're already on it, so no jumps. Six and zero jumps is six. So six and zero. Zero is always the hardest. So here we go. Here is our story of six. So all of these things make six. Zero plus six. One plus five. Two plus four. Three plus three. Four plus two, five plus one, and six plus zero. So we're going to do that for seven as well. Do you know, by the time we've got to the end of this week, we're going to be so good at all of these number bonds. 
So, if we're doing the next story, that means I need to move this along. So I'm going to move my marker along to seven. There we go. So I've got a wee pink diamonds on seven. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to start at zero. So let's see. Zero plus what is seven? How many jumps? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zero plus seven is seven. I'm going to write it down. Don't want to forget it. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm sure you know what we're doing now. We're going to go to the next number, which is one. Counting on the jumps. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and six. Let's see if we can figure out the other. I wonder if we can figure it out by looking at our patterns. Let's see, we've got zero. Oh, I can see that. Zero, one. We're going to move up another number. So zero, one, two. The other numbers are going down the way. Let's see if we go backwards. Seven, six. What comes? Four, six, five. Let's see if that works. We can check. We can check using our number line. So we think that two and five is seven. Let's see if we're right. So let's see if it's five jobs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. We were right. Five jumps. We'll see if we can do that for the next one. So let's see, we're counting up at this side. Zero, one, two, next is three. Oh, that's a tricky one this time. We're going backwards, so let's count. Seven, six, five, four. Hmm, let's see if it works. Let's check. Let's see if three and four are seven. So we'll start at three. We'll count our jumps, ready? One, two, three, four. It is, we're right. And then we can just turn it the other way around because we know from our coat hangers yesterday that they're the same no matter which way it is. So three and four is seven. Put them the other way around. Four and three is still seven. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to turn it around. So we're nearly there. I wonder if I can leave you to try and finish off the story of seven on your own. I would love to see some pictures or some little messages from your families at home to see how you got on. Can you do the other numbers all on your own? And we will check tomorrow. So have fun, have a go at your number stories, six and seven today, and we'll see you for eight and nine tomorrow. Bye-bye.